the Honolulu Marathon finishers are not done with the race just yet. Yeah, today is an important final step in what was for many a, a very long journey. <laughs> and our Casey Lun is live this yes. morning at the Hawaii Convention Center. How you doing, bud? I'm doing very well. You know, we're already seeing, I think, just some staff and volunteers um, that are running the Finisher Monday event here at the Convention Center start to come in. But we're seeing people, I imagine many of them uh, that were uh, a part of the event were also racers. We're starting to see some folks. Hey, hello. We're starting to see some folks uh, with their Finisher shirts here around town and a lot of our Japanese visitors here already. Uh, so we know that officially the doors open at 9 a.m. Um, it'll go until 4 p.m. And that is where where you get your official certificate uh, because of course you get your medal you get your shirt at the race but you had to come here to get it certified baby and you can get it laminated as well so we're going to start to th see the thousands of folks uh, uh, piling in here to the fourth floor of the convention center again nine to four uh, we also uh, want to just share some of the local stories the amazing local stories we shared uh, the top combined finisher zach lee a while back um, but we also have been hearing from people. Uh, many of them have ran many races. This was certainly not their first Honolulu Marathon. We have also uh, talked to some people out there, and I, I love this, uh, talking to the younger athletes, those runners that are making that really big decision to start training and jump in with both feet. I talked to one of them, a young man from Kailua, who ran his very first Honolulu Marathon ever yesterday. Take a listen uh, to what he had to say. It was so much fun. Um, training for it, I had my awesome coach Anna, and uh, she just got me through it. And then finishing was super, super awesome. I love Honolulu Marathon because look at all the people here that you meet around the world. They always put on a great marathon every year, and I'm proud to be a, a participant. Yeah, that was Jeannie, and she's not just a participant. She's actually placed pretty high in the Honolulu Marathon in past years, fourth one time, sixth another. She's uh, ran the Maui Marathon, several half wahines. Uh, she is a marathon diehard, and, and then you get to talk to some of those kids uh, that are running this for the first time. So uh, love being down there, love sharing those stories, uh, being able to go visit the Malasada tent and uh, check all of those festivities out because that's another reward that you get when you complete the marathon. Oh boy, and they were delicious over there. Steve, you left too early, my friend, uh, to oh, get oh, 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 you oh, cut out oh, early, you, Steve. You oh. left before oh. helping our camera like, what crew, uh, the you. rest of the production crew clean up. Steve, you know when he signed off for the last time, he was out of there. What? The guy does. <laughs> Wait a minute. He wasn't supposed <laughs> to get a malasada. He did not uh, do he, the he, do he, That's the right. Test. That's right. He stole a malasada from a marathon <laughs> finisher. <laughs> wow. He tried to get one for Lacey, <laughs> yeah, but they said true. no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, she definitely did it for the rest of you. Sure. They're like, only one. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Casey's charms working again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Who can resist yeah. that guy? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Better than doing actual work. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we all agree. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Casey. That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs>